Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects and create new composition. Let's rename it to Reflection. Also, I'll keep this default settings and duration to 12 seconds, and hit OK. Now, right click and create new solid layer. Also enable its lock aspect ratio, and set its width to 3000, and hit OK. Now go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fractal Noise and drag it to this solid layer. Set its noise type to block. Contrast to 275. Brightness to 1. Complexity to 1. Explore its transform, and unselect uniform scaling. Set its width to 80, and height to 531. Also place this time indicator bar at first frame, and click on this stopwatch to create keyframe. Also set its value to minus 1888 and 200. Now, move this time indicator bar to last frame and set its value to 2500. Now, explore evolution options and set its random seed to 950. Cool. Now search for turbulent displace and drag it to this solid layer. Set its amount to 159. Size to 210. Set offset value to 800 and 200. Now, make sure you place this time indicator bar at first frame, and then click on this stopwatch, and set its value to minus 1 minus 4. Now move this bar to last frame and set its value back to zero. Cool. Now, click on this solid layer, and press U, to reveal all keyframes, and select these last keyframe, right click and easy ease them. Now select these keyframes, and click on this graph editor, make sure you enable this speed graph. Now select this, and drag this bar. Just like that, cool. Now search for fast box blur and drag it to this layer. Set its blur radius to 35. Also enable its repeat edges pixels. Now, click on this layer and press S and set its scale value to 65%. Now, right click and create new solid layer. Let's change its aspect ratio and hit OK. Now, click on this layer, and press E, to open opacity, and set its value to 58%. Cool. Now, click on this project tab. Create new composition, let's rename it, and hit OK. Right click, and create new text layer. Type your text. Let's resize it. Now, right click and pre-compose it. Let's rename it to placeholder, and hit OK. Now, drag this reflection composition into this timeline, select these both layers, and enable it to 3D layer. Also, set its track mat to alpha mat. Cool. Now go to effects and presets, and search for CC glass, and drag it to this reflection comp player. Explore surface and set its softness to 216.2 High to minus 40 Displacement to minus 450 Explore light, and set its intensity to 138 Light type to point, also increase its light height to 100 Now search for CC Blobble Eyes 
and drag it to this layer. Explore blobbiness, and set its blob layer to placeholder. Property to alpha, softness to 30.9. Cut away to 30. Explore light, and set its intensity to 119. Light type to point. Also set its light height to 43. Set its position value to 654.1 and 632.2. Explore shading, set ambient to 24. Metal to 59. Cool. Now, right click and create new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for hue and drag it to this adjustment layer. Enable its colorize, set its value to 44. Set colorize saturation to 53, cool. Now, go back to project tab, and create new composition, rename it to particles, and hit OK. Right click and create new solid layer. Also enable its lock aspect ratio and set its width to 3840, and hit OK. Now search for CC Particle World, and drag it to this solid layer. Set birth rate to 1. Longevity to 3. Explore Producer, set position Y to 0 0.14. Radius X to 3.990. Radius Y to 0 0.200 Radius Z to 0 0.120 Explore Physics, set its animation to Viscous Velocity to 0 0.05 Gravity and Extra to 0 Now Explore Particle, set Particle Type to Shaded Sphere Birth size to 0 0.010 Death size to 0 0.020 Increase its size variation and max opacity to 100% Explore extras, set distance to 0 0.71 Rotation Z to plus 90 degree Also set its value to 2.70 Cool. Click on this layer, and press S. And set its value to 50%. Now, click on this layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate this layer. Now select this layer, and let's change some properties. Set its birth rate to 1.5. Longevity to 4. Explore Producer. Set Radius Z value to 0. Explore Particle, set Death Size to 0 0.050. Cool. Now, right click and create new camera layer. Also set its preset to custom. And set its zoom to 650.57. Now explore its transform, and set its Z position to minus 943.2. Now, let's import some assets into Project Panel. Now drag this light leak into Timeline. And set its composition to add. Drag this texture clip, and place it below this layer and set its track mat to alpha mat, also set its composition mode to pin light, again drag this texture, and place it here, also set its track mat to alpha, and change its composition mode to add. Create new composition, and rename it to main, and hit OK. Right click and create new solid layer, Let's lock its aspect ratio, and set its width to 1920. Also let's change its color, and hit OK. 
Now search for CC star burst and drag it to this layer. Set scatter to 524. Speed to 0.11. Again create new solid layer. And now search for fractal noise and drag it to this layer. Set noise type to linear. Contrast to 48.5. Brightness to minus 40.7. Now, place this bar at first frame, explore transform. And click on this stopwatch, and set scale value to 1757.4. Now move this bar at last frame, and set scale value to 5711. Also enable this. Set complexity to 8. Set random seed value to 450. Now, while pressing out, click on the stopwatch of evolution, and type this script. Cool. Now search for hue. And drag it to this layer. Enable its colorize, and set its saturation to 60. Now, select these layers, and set its composition to add. Click on project panel, and let's drag this particle comp into timeline. Also set its composition to add. Drag this comp, and place it below all layers. Let's scale it down to 50%. and place it to center. Cool. Now search for gradient wipe and drag it to this layer. Set its value to 100% and click on this stopwatch. Move this bar 1 seconds forward and set its value to 0%. Now click on this layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate this layer. Now select these layers, and set its composition to screen. This looks good to me. Now, select these layers, and press U, to reveal all keyframes. Now select these keyframes, and easy ease them. Now go to Graph Editor, and drag this bar completely. Just like that. Select these layers, and press S, to open scale. Move this bar at first frame, and click on this stopwatch to create keyframe. Now move this bar to somewhat here, and change its value to 75%, so that we get a decent zoom animation. Let's preview this. Awesome. You can also place your logo. Simply double click on this placeholder comp. And drag your logo. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome. So, here we have created our animation. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.